I could not go out. I feel ashamed. I felt not want embarrassed to even talk about felt rejected and was not ready for what to come hello amazing viewers hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in case you are seeing this pretty face for the first time my name is jennifer jennifer okolo in case you are here for the first time thanks for stopping by if you are a returning subscriber ha, you guys are the real mvp Thanks for coming back to my channel, for clicking, for subscribing, and watching my videos. Thank you, thank you. If you have not yet subscribed and you are watching this video, please pause. Click the subscribe button, like this video, share if you love what you are watching. If you want to see this amazing face again, subscribe to my channel, please, guys. Help me grow my YouTube channel. I know from the title of this video, you guys will be wondering what's going on, what do you want to talk about, what is it, what is it, what did you request? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go and subscribe back if you want to hear what I have to say. Go back if you have not yet still subscribe. Subscribe. We'll get on to the details very soon. Like, it's a problem that has been bothering me. Like, for some months, I could not go out. Like, even when I'm go out, I feel ashamed. I felt not wanted. I felt like this connection was not showing. Like, I was embarrassed to even talk about it, if I'll use that word, embarrassed. I was, I was like, embarrassed to talk about it. I felt somehow, I felt rejected. And I said, okay, let me just sit in my car because I'm waiting for someone and just make this quick video which at least no kids to bother me right yeah so let's get right into this video So hi guys, for me to begin this video, let me introduce myself properly for those who don't know me or you are coming, you are seeing this channel for the first time. My name is Jennifer, Jennifer Okulu. Like I said before, I am a wife, I am a mom, I have three amazing daughters. I gave birth to my last daughter, Elena, seven months ago and I made the labor and delivery video which is doing amazing on the YouTube street. Thank you guys for watching and showing me love. So like I said, I gave birth, I have three girls, my first is six, my second is three, and my last is seven months. So I've gone through this experience of, let's say, motherhood three times, or no, let's say two times, and I was prepared to give birth to my third, Elena, and I was absolutely ready for anything because I knew, like, I had to, this is the third, but I am now a prof, I am now a professional, I've been to the university, like, from infant to like five years, like I knew okay, I could handle infant from delivery, from um, delivery, taking care of a newborn, those stages. I knew okay, there's nothing they have done it twice and it's okay. Mommy's got this. So Elena came December and we were happy. I gave birth to her December 14th. Yeah, so after that, once you give birth, the midwife or the doctor would give you your baby so she would latch immediately so to stimulate the breast milk like it's just natural once you give birth before they even clean the baby they have to put the baby on the mother's body so she would have that skin to skin connection and also try to latch so the breast milk will start flowing i think it's something from your brain or something i'm not really sure so as I gave birth to Elena, definitely they did that. They gave me Elena and we tried latching her for some seconds or minutes. She did not latch. She was just crying. The girl came out very hungry. She was just crying, crying. She did not latch. So I said, okay, it's fine. They should just like, they took her, cleaned her, changed her, everything. And they brought her back to me. Still in the labor room. Like I've not even left the labor room there. They gave her... The breast meat to lash was just like struggling. I know it's a new thing. Definitely, she will struggle to know how to latch and how to suck 
she's trying to get used to the world like the weather everything so it was still a struggle so they wheeled me to my ward then we tried breastfeeding her because the girl was shouting she was hungry like she came out hungry from the stomach she was shouting wailing 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 and she did not latch that night i gave birth in the night or early hours of the morning she did not latch that night and then she slept off she tried latching but my nipple was inverted inverted meaning my nipple was inside it was not outside it was not outside for her to grab and suck at least to stimulate breast milk because then i was not bringing out any breast milk and i felt okay it's normal my two pregnancies and delivery i did not really bring out breast milk for two days the third day that's when i start generating breast milk so i said okay it's normal um okay we'll get used to it it's just a normal thing since my nipple is inverted ha ah, to be okay quick quick stop let me just say this you know when you give birth to your first second like you are still let me just say jkc like you are just starting the journey so you are still new to this game my tour that was really prepared like i went extra miles when i was buying things for my daughter for my previous babies i used um manual pumping machine just to pump once in a while when my, when my breast is too full and the baby does not want to suck or when i want to go somewhere i'll just press and keep in the feet but this one i went to buy my uh, electric pumping machine i got electric pumping machine i got granular lactation whatever i got lactation cookie i got lactation hot chocolate like i got lactation key before my main deal i got in the i was ready to breastfeed like i was over ready to breastfeed and baby girl came and said mommy mba that what you're putting in my in my mouth i don't like it i don't like it i don't like it. it's like i was so prepared for this but i never i was not prepared for what came next yeah i was prepared for breastfeeding for we bonding together when breastfeeding for elena just to suck her breast milk directly for me or when i'm not around she uses the bottle but to still be mama's breast milk i was so ready but when baby girl came she was like nah 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 i was not ready for what to come let me just say so so um i was later discharged from the hospital because they knew my um story of not um bringing out breast milk for like two three days so i was discharged and i said okay i would go home you know in my house i have peace i'll have time to like focus on baby and myself then we started her own formula i give my kids formula for like the first three four days when i'm not where my breast milk is not coming so they would eat so i gave her formula and i think that was like where i got it wrong i would say because she later got used to bottom and she refused to suck bobby's breast that girl refused to suck once i put breast the third day breast milk started flowing it was flowing very well like i had breast milk that i had to be expressing because she just refused so i stopped formula so i started giving her bottle with breast milk and i think that was where i got it all wrong but how was i to know like her two other siblings they took bottle when growing up and they still suck breast like they even prefer the breast milk to the bottle at a point so this just goes to tell you that no child is the same you raising this child does not mean okay this is the same way you raise this child even or for example how this one raise his or her child the method the method they use it's if you adopt that me method you won't likely get the same results you get i was really depressed at that time i would say like i was sad my boobs were big she was not sucking i i was sick it was i had engrossed breast do you know what engrossed breast is like my breast would be this big and swollen and i will be wailing i will be shouting i am shivering from cold like i got to a point that i was sad I was sad deep down like i was like does this baby don't want my breast milk like 
am I doing something wrong? Like I started doubting myself. Like I felt really sad. There was one point like I would keep her with my mom for her to just stay and I would just be alone. And my husband would be encouraging me. He would bring her. You have to be doing skin to skin. You have to do this. You have to do that. I was so, so sad. I won't say I was depressed because I still, I was not depressed, but I was sad. Like depression is really deeper. So I was not depressed. I was just sad. I was not just having that bond and time I needed with my newborn baby. Yeah, I was not depressed. I won't say I was depressed, but I was very sad. I tried everything. I checked online. We went to see the best consultant. Like they gave us option. They told me, you just have to have mind and not give her bottle. Okay, even if you want to give her breast milk, you can give her with spoon or with cup, but not with bottle. Or just tap her. Don't give her any food for a while. And then, since if she has no other option, she would adapt to the new breast because she's used to the easy way, which is bottle that will just flow. And I did not have the mind to do it. I would go, I would say, okay, yes, I'll try it. I would not give her food for like two hours and she would be shouting and I did not have that mind. You know, the heart of mothers is very soft. I did not have that mind. There was one time I said, do you know what? I'll just be giving her bottle. Since I have the electric pump, I'll be pumping and giving her so she's not lacking anything. I did that for like three months. Then breast milk just stopped because... There was no saliva or lip to stimulate the breast milk. So all of a sudden, my breast milk started flowing small and then it stopped. Then I just started bottle. Like at first, I was scared. But babe, thank God, Elena is doing well. Like she is doing really well. She started standing with support at six months. And when I take her for all her appointments, she's doing amazing. Maybe she's not too chubby because of lack of breast milk, but she's doing great i would say so i was really scared like we know how important breast milk is i breastfeed my kids for one year plus i think emma was one year three months megan one year two months like I, that is how i that is how we really breastfeed our kids we breastfeed for more than one year so when this baby girl refused to suck i was sad i was sad but I'm over it. I'm over it. Please, if your baby did not suck, please let me know in the comment section if we share the same story. When I go out and I hear people saying, Ah, oh, my baby did not suck. In my mind, I'll be like, Really? You did not give that baby breast milk. Say you don't want to breastfeed your baby. Which one is my baby did not suck? Like, if nothing happens to you, you would not know where the shoe was this one. Wear the shoe hot if you are not the one wearing it. That's the lesson I learned. Like, when they say my baby did not suck in my mind, I'll be like, you did not breastfeed that baby. Come, let me show you how to breastfeed in my mind. Though, because I was the expert of breastfeeding. I used to breastfeed my children very well. Like, come, let me teach you. You are not giving that baby breast milk, Jare. It just goes to show that. If you are not putting on the show, you don't know how it feels. So don't judge anybody. Like, don't don't just judge. Like, I'll go to immunization and I will see people breastfeeding their own baby. Me, my own baby, I cannot breastfeed. I will either carry breast milk. Well, and I felt, I, 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 I felt it. I won't lie. I felt, I felt that pain. Like, I felt somehow in that. You know when you're in the circle of women like you and they're giving their baby that liquid milk directly and they're enjoying, they're playing, like, I felt very emotional about it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I know if you kill myself. Thank God she's doing well. Like, you go and they will tell you, I'm feeding my baby um, bottle. And someone will say, why are you giving her bottle? Like, now your business. <laughs> Like, but I, I really felt it at that time. At that time, I really felt it. But I'm over it. She's doing strong. She's doing strong. The advantage of she not always sucking is that she sleeps throughout the night. When she starts sleeping by night, she sleeps throughout the night to the next morning. That's when she wakes up and feed. But I feed her very well before she sleeps. So that's one advantage to me. I did not have any pain when I stopped breastfeeding. Like, you know, that pain's. 
you will have when you want to stop breastfeeding now that your breast will be big um you have that breast pain you'll be having fever nothing now that i did not have it the only disadvantage is that for me oh, once i'm breastfeeding i don't see my menses till i stop and even if i stop it takes like two three months but once the breast milk stopped it took me like how many months less than two months and then i started but it's fine we are used to it we are women that is it i just wanted to talk about this like share my experience with you guys i've never really heard stories about women giving their experience on how baby did not suck i just wanted to put it out there for anyone going through this or anyone that will go through this at least they will see my story and also share because i i was checking online for people that their kids did not suck i did not really see much for me to like know okay everything was normal it's okay there was a point when i was checking online why can my baby not suck and i was seeing different kind of diagnosis online like i was like i'll call my husband we have to take her to the hospital again though are you sure she does not have this are you sure she does not have this so i just wanted to share my experience and everything so everybody would know and we can learn one or two maybe the lesson i learned was that i would have given her the breast milk with spoon and not with um bottle but i would not have known because all my kids took bottle and they still breastfed oh uh, i've done things different like sometimes i'll be like what would i have done different i think baby girl just came she said mommy relax i don't want to stress you just chill okay just chill just chill and i'm chilling <laughs> now i left her at home and i'm here i'm not bothered when she was one month i used to leave her do all my waka waka and come back once there's breast milk or formula she's good to go so that is it guys um i want to end this video here i'm used to vlog i'll be doing more sit down videos if you guys would really want to see more sit down videos on my youtube channel please just let me know like what you want me to talk about if you guys want to hear more stories about motherhood like how i'm doing this motherhood thing like just leave your comments down just comment down what you would love to see on this channel i think i'll be posting videos two times in a week now maybe a sit down video, video either on wednesday or thursday and then vlogs on monday if this is a good idea please leave it down in the comments Nothing at all please tell me give me videos suggestion what you would love to see more on my youtube channel yeah and i'll talk to you guys in my next video please don't forget to like share subscribe Share, share, share. Please, if you are watching to now and you have not subscribed, please, I'm begging you, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe, share. Please post my video. Help me grow this YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.